You know, you don't, you don't know you miss something until it's gone. You realize that's the first time we've heard operatory music? to the chicken coop 
where I was to dump the eggshells out of the bag and stomp on it. Now, do you know why I did that? You see, eggshells have calcium. And in order for the chickens to have eggs that had stronger shells, they needed that extra calcium. So it was a good thing. So I was on my job of taking that bag of eggshells out to stomp, and this Billy Cat saw me, and he put his head down, and his horns right toward me, and started running. Well, let me tell you, I turned around screaming all the way back to the house. Now, I honestly don't know what happened to that goat, but I never saw him again. <laughs> You see, goats can be kind of ornery. They're independent and they're defiant creatures. They're never really content with the plush grass that they have. In fact, if you want to keep goats in, you have to put like almost a security fence in because they will get up on their hind legs and reach to get at a tree limb, a leaf, anything that's on the other side of the grass. They're not just not content. In fact, they have been known to eat garbage. So, let me ask you, how often do you, as a Christian, display the same characteristics as a goat? You know, sometimes we get so focused in our lives on material garbage that we miss being filled with the spirit. We struggle with being obedient. We're so self-motivated and self-focused that we prefer to listen to our friends, society, and our feelings rather than to the word and the call of God. Sheep, on the other hand, are much more docile and gentle and obedient. Jesus talks about sheep a lot in the Bible. I bet you know a couple stories about sheep. There's a story about the lost sheep. You remember that one? Okay. But anyway, sheep are willing to follow their shepherd wherever he goes. In fact, I saw on the internet where these shepherds were out in the hills with their sheep. They didn't have fences. And the sheep would be intermingling with each other and grazing here and there and other. And all the one shepherd had to do was say, come, and those sheep, his sheep, his sheep would listen and follow him. They had complete trust in their shepherd because they know that he would lead them to green pastures and still waters. Sheep don't possess the skills to protect themselves from predators. So a good shepherd will give his life for the sheep, just as Jesus gave his life for all of us because he loves us. So, what do you want to be? A sheep or a goat? Let's pray. Precious Heavenly Father, we are so tempted to be self-motivated and thinking of ourselves. Lord, help us put that out of our mind and help us be guided by your word, the Bible, so that we can follow you and be obedient in all things, Lord. Help us to trust you to take care of us. We pray, Lord, that you will guide these young children and be with them always. And we pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen.